Hi, in this video I'm going to be modifying my Haswing Pro 2R 1.0 trolling motor for impact resistance as well as reverse trolling motor kickback. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to show an overall view of my modified Haswing Pro 2R 1.0 trolling motor before I get down into the close-ups of the mount section. This is a side view of the mount and what I'm pointing to right here is the pivot pin for this mount which allows the motor to go up and down when this is released. But it's also hollow. So what I'm going to do is run my shock or bungee cord right through there and tie it to the back of here to act as my shock absorber. All right, this is the view of the setup from behind. First, you take one end of your bungee or shock cord and you thread it through and out one side of the hollow pivot tube and then just go ahead and put a knot in it. Then the end that's still sticking out here, the longer side, bring it down and put it in the appropriate tooth for what you want your maximum deflection to be. And then bring it around up here, knot that one off, and then use a zip tie to hold them together. And depending on how much you want your impact resistance to be, the smaller zip tie you use, the less force it'll take to snap it, which means if you hit something really hard in the water, you can set it to where this thing will snap off. And so I set my deflection for when I put it in reverse by just positioning the trolling motor where I want the maximum to be in case it comes up either from impact or reverse, and that's how I came up with this setup. Once you have everything sized out, now you can attach the stainless steel hose clamp to keep the lever depressed so it swings freely. So I'll show you how this one works. Very simple and inexpensive. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.